As refugees from Afghanistan arrive in the tri-state, one Western Kentucky woman who was a refugee herself is sharing her experience. She went from a child fleeing a civil war to a resident of Davis County. Eyewitness News Mike Pickett has her story. I left the country because to, because of the civil war and then I live in refugee camps for seven years. Andy Finn's journey to America started in Myanmar when her family fled the ongoing civil war. My mom told me that East Vietnamese military came not in our village. So then we have to like uh, have to pack up everything as we can and we have to like a uh, flee. And then my and I remember my mom told me that my dad got shot and the Burmese military came to our house and destroyed our house and took away everything our parents had. Her family fled to Thailand, where she lived in refugee camps for seven years. She then came to America, first to New York State, where she had family. But those first years in this new country weren't easy. Pretty nice, but sometimes I came across a lot of obstacles, just like a transportation issue, like language barrier and culture shock. When we first came, we don't have our old car, so we have to depend on our family car. And sometimes they were busy too. But Fan didn't let the obstacles get in the way. I always want to like, get my higher education level and I want to get, uh, get into college and have some kind of like degree. Fan says her life in America is getting better. After meeting her husband, who worked in Owensboro, she moved to the Tri State about four years ago, earned degrees from OCTC and WKU, became a U.S. citizen, and got a job at Tamarack Elementary School. The Owensboro area is expecting 100 Afghan refugees in the coming weeks, with 200 more headed to Bowling Green. Fan says those coming to America should not feel hopeless. When you arrive in this country, you will face a lot of challenges, such as like a transportation issue, language barrier, culture shock, and many, many things, but just don't give up. In Owensboro, Mike Pickett, Eyewitness News.